Welcome to the Five Reasons to Bet here on the Five Reasons YouTube channel. I'm Ethan Skolnick. I didn't put my record there, but it's actually not that bad. It's 12 and 10. We got Alfredo Arteaga above me. He's 10 and 12. He's, I don't know, he's, he's trying to save his coaching staff and his GM right now at the end of the season. We'll see how that He's kind of like the Dolphins. Uh, the next to him, Jim Rodriguez, 12 and 10. And then Taylor Mathis, I'm not going to read her record. All right, let's get, we got three games today. She's 15 and 5. We got three games today. Before we tell you about the games, though, because we're doing the whole Thanksgiving slate, I want to tell you about BetUS, go to BetUS.com, BetUS.com. Use that code word 5, F-I-V-E. That's how you get the 125% bonus. Get that – you won't have that many rollovers. You'll get your money quickly. they got the great live betting platform. You can also, of course, bet all the other sports in addition to NFL. You want to bet NBA. Uh, you want to bet uh, NHL. You can do all of that there, MMA, boxing, etc. Go to BetUS.com. That's BetUS.com. Make sure that when you sign in, you use the code word 5 or you will not get the bonus. F-I-V-E, code word 5, betus.com. All right, we're going to do the Thanksgiving games kind of in reverse order here because, to be honest, there's really only one game that interests me. But we're going to, we're going to give you the betting lines on all three so you have something to do on Thanksgiving other than speak to your family. The first one we're going to talk about, and I will start with Taylor on this one. We've got New Orleans. We've got Buffalo. Uh, New Orleans, I don't know what to make of them week to week. Buffalo... I don't know what to make of them lately. Uh, they've slipped out of uh, top spot in the AFC East, and Josh Allen is not playing at the same level he was before. Uh, we're going to do both the number and the over-under on this. Uh, what, what are they? And, Taylor, where where would you start with these two? Yeah, where, what is the the spread set at right now? Yeah, what's it at, Jim? It's 45-and-a-half uh, okay. over-under, and the spread is minus six. Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Minus six. All right. Um, spread, I, oh God, I want to say I would normally take the bills, but I don't like what I've seen from them lately. And I know everybody says they're Super Bowl contenders, but I, I'm not really seeing it. So I think I'm going to take the saints when it comes to the spread and then the over under, I think I'm going to take the over on this one. All right. So the over 45 and a half and take the saints and take the six points, Jim. Well, it's funny when the when the line originally came up for this game, it was Bills minus four. So all the money has poured in on the Buffalo Bills, and why is that? Well, it's because the Saints are banged up. Everybody's hurt on New Orleans. So my big question is, you know, the, the sexy pick is all oh, the Saints. It's it's Sean Payton. It's at home Thanksgiving. Blah blah blah. First of all, kudos to NBC picking a, a picking New Orleans as their Thanksgiving game. That's smart. It's like what ABC does. They always they're always in LA on. Christmas. They're smart. Mm -hmm. uh, here's 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 my thing. Josh Allen, they are a Super Bowl contender. They've had some couple of turkeys, pardon the pun, but they're playing a very banged up Saints team. You know, it could be six, it could be eight, it could be ten. I think Buffalo covers this just because I don't think New Orleans can move the ball. Um, oh. The over-under, 45 and a half, that's going to be tough because I don't know if the Saints can contribute to that total. I love the prop bet of the Saints under 20 and a half. I love that a lot. So I'm going to say under 20, I'm going to say under 45 and a half. I see this kind of like maybe a, a 30 to 13 kind of game. It's we're going to sweat it out, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go bills minus the six and I'm going to go under 45 and a half. All right, Alfredo. Yeah. I really think that the bills are going to remember this week that they are a Super Bowl contender. They're going to turn it on, and I think that they cover the six. The Bills are 9-1-1 and one against the spread in their last 11 games following a straight-up loss. I'm with Jim. I don't know if New Orleans can score enough to contribute. And I have another number for that one, too. The under is 8-0-1 in the last nine games for the Saints on Thursday night. I think it just comes in. So give me the Bills and under. And here's my strategy today. I'm running out of time to catch Taylor. That's really where I'm at. So, although I did do a whole bunch of analysis on this game, I do agree uh, with Alfred. I, I think that this is the type of game where Josh Allen uh, makes a statement on Thanksgiving that they're still in the mix here. I, I'm going to go Buffalo minus the six, but I'm going to stay under because I cannot see New Orleans scoring many points in this game. I just don't. Uh, I think 17 would max it out. So I'm going to go with the Bills and the under. All right, we've got two more games to get to. And these are turkeys, uh, or at least one of them certainly is. But before we do, boo I don't excuse the pun. I meant to make it. Uh, a word for Boo's Bandage.
All right, welcome back. Use the code booze for, uh, excuse me, for booze bandage. If you sound like me, you'll people will think you need a booze bandage for sure. Use the code five RSN to get yourself twenty percent off at boozebandage.com. All right, let's get to the next one. I'm gonna let Jim start on this one, and I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna go before Taylor this time so that I can't just go the opposite uh, to try to catch her, even though that that was my strategy today. Uh, Jim, the Raiders. What do we think here? I don't know what to make of this team either. This, this is this is crazy. I mean, the, the Raiders are an absolute disaster. Okay, uh, it's it's the Raiders are getting seven and a half. The over under is fifty and a half uh, out in Big D. Listen, the Cowboys have got me shook after that nine point output uh, against the Chiefs last week. They, they got me shook. Listen, Amari Cooper's out with COVID. Uh, CD Lamb's gone concussion protocol. Zeke's got a busted up knee. I don't know if they're going to score any points. And I and the Raiders, I think the one thing they do is score points. So I like the Raiders getting the seven and a half. Mm, yes, the Raiders may even win the game outright. And I kind of like the under, under 50 and a half. This feels like it's going to be one of those 27, 22 kind of games. So jackpot, baby, Raiders. You know, I'm with Jim on both of these, actually. Um, I Dallas. Until until I saw how many receivers were out, I was leaning their direction because again Thanksgiving at home typically play pretty well. Waiting for a bounce back game from Dak, but I, they're just they're so thin right now. They're just I mean they they really are and uh and and I just and, and I'm with you. I you know I think De- I think Derek Carr will be able to move the ball in the Dallas defense enough to cover. I don't know that they win, but seven and a half is is too much. Uh, right now, and I'm also going to play the under. I, I, I just, I, I don't feel that it comes in. Alfredo Taylor goes last this time. Yeah, I'm completely with you. Um, before, if the Cowboys had Amari Cooper, they had Ceedee Lamb, I'd be in on that seven and a half. I think that this would be a get right game, and they could blow the doors off of the Las Vegas Raiders. But we've seen Dak Prescott. I, in my opinion, he's an elite quarterback. He is not an elite quarterback when he doesn't have Amari Cooper. And now he's not going to have CeeDee Lamb either. Michael Gallup's a nice receiver. He's one guy. I don't think it's enough, and I don't think that they score enough. If they win, they win by a field goal. So give me the Raiders in the seven and a half, and we're on the same thing. It's where the points are going to come from. Yeah. We know the Raiders can score a little bit. Cowboys defense has been okay. They actually played pretty, pretty well against a pretty hot Kansas City offense. So give me the under. Give me the Raiders. Taylor? I'm going the same way as all of you guys too. Even though I'm wearing my Dallas hat right now, nah, I well, I think we, I think we win outright. But points wise, with all the injuries, like Alfredo was saying, we only have Michael Gallup and we have Cedric Wilson when it comes to receivers. I mean, they're good. They're not good enough. Our defense has looked very, very good lately, and even against you know a game where we played the Chiefs, our offense looked terrible though. I mean, we didn't score a single touchdown. We only, our only points came from field goals. So I like the under for that reason. And the Raiders are very give and take week to week. You never know what you're getting with them. So I will give the Raiders the points, uh, but I, I think the Cowboys do win the game outright, especially coming off a crappy game against the Chiefs. All right, so basically, uh, we're, this is a this is a clean sweep here. All four of us agree on this one. All right, we are not going to waste more than ten seconds per person on this game. Taylor, I will let you start. Bears, Lions, garbage. I literally just tweeted like this is the least thing I'm thankful for on Thanksgiving is this game. <laughs> I think this is the perfect game though to bet the Lions right now on yeah. the spread. I'm going to take the Lions if the number is a uh, plus three for them. And I'm not sure what the over under is currently set at. Jim, what's it at? The last time I saw it was 41 and a half. And yeah, and it's the yep. and it's the Lions getting three. honestly. I think I'm taking the under because both these teams are just so <laughs> horrendous. They're garbage. They both aren't gonna have their starting quarterbacks. I don't know where they're gonna score points. So I'm taking the under and I'm gonna take the Lions. And if I was gonna be an exciting little better. I think I would take the Lions on the money line too, because I think this could be their chance to get a win. Uh, I, wow. I, you know, give me a second. Jim, go. <laughs> hey, I'm with her. I'm with her. Plus 140 money line for the Lions. I think this is it. They bite the kneecaps. We're going to drink nine cappuccinos like Dad, Dad Cabell does. Listen, Jared Goff has not won a professional football game without Sean McVay as his head coach. 
this is like, like, Ethan left. He's like, I can't, you can't stand all this Lions talk. Listen, Lions win, book it. They'll get the three, but I'm going money line plus 140. Detroit Rock City gets the W. Yeah, this is a great matchup of two Pro Bowl quarterbacks. I'm not making that up. Jared Goff and Andy Dalton at one point were Pro Bowl quarterbacks. They're not that anymore. This is not an appetizing game, but I agree with you. It's Detroit's time. I think Jared Goff plays. He plays well. They score enough to win, but neither team is going to score enough to beat that number. And listen, Under and Detroit. And I would, and I actually would play my own money, money line on Detroit. And I love this outright. nice little prop bet, guys. The Lions score more than 19 points. I, I like that. At mm-hmm. minus 115, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a little money that way. My, yeah, I, I think they I think they score 19 points. I think they score 25, 26 points. I think Jared Goff, it's his coming out party, uh, you know, when they're 114 and 116 and 1 or whatever the math, 115 and 1 or whatever the math is now, uh, on their way to the number one pick for it to, and to get a quarterback to replace Jared Goff. But, yeah, they win this week. Yeah. All right. Just Ethan's try. out. Ethan. I'm trying to come back. Oh, no, I'm trying to come back. You didn't get rid of me that quickly. I've been sitting we're, there. We're about to it off. I, we thought while well, this Lions uh, no, you- I, I, here, here's what I Here's what I'm going with. I'm going to go I'm gonna go against you guys here. I, I'm going to take Chicago in this one. Uh, and, again, I, not, not that I think they're any good. But man, the Lions are awful, and I, I just, I think we're, I think we're in for a whole bunch of why are the Lions hope playing on Thanksgiving jokes again, and I, I I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna go under also. So we'll, we'll record all of this next week. Thanks to Taylor, thanks to Alfredo, thanks to Jim, thanks to my internet connection for coming back. Boozebandage.com, use the code five RSN. Bet US, sign up with the code five F I V E. Have a good day. See you. Happy Turkey, everybody. Happy Turkey. Ooh.